let's unsync your MacBook from your iPhone. Now, if you have both an iPhone and a MacBook, MacBook Pro, and you don't want all of the messages, phone calls, photos, whatever it may be, from your iPhone to be pushed over and synced to your MacBook, I'm gonna show you how to turn that off. Now, on your iPhone, let's go into settings here, and we'll scroll down and tap on general, and then airplay and handoff. We'll want to turn off handoff. Basically, that's the feature that allows you to start basically a website or something like that and scroll through it on your iPhone and then see it on your MacBook as well. So let's turn that off so it doesn't sync that up. Now let's go back and back again and we'll scroll to the very top and tap on our name. Now, you can see towards the bottom here is a list of all of the devices that are signed into your Apple ID. If you wanted to, you could always set up a different Apple ID for your MacBook and your iPhone. So you could go into, say, your MacBook here, and you could hit remove from this account at the very bottom. You could remove it and then just log into a different Apple ID on your MacBook that would completely remove the two of them and unsync them, having them be very different. So let's go back. If you don't necessarily want to go through that step, you can always go through and fine tune and turn off specific things that you don't want to be pushed or synced from your iPhone to your MacBook. So to do that, let's tap on iCloud and then we'll tap on show all here. And this will give you the full list of everything that you could turn off. So photos, you could just tap on that and turn off sync this iPhone. You could do the same thing for your notes, your messages, contacts, Safari, your bookmarks, um, your news, your music, your books, any of these different things, any of these different apps, you can always turn them off and then it essentially will unsync it from your iPhone to your MacBook. They won't be the same and Keep in mind there is a downside, there is a drawback to turning off all of these because if you turn off syncing from the iCloud on your iPhone, then basically you won't have a backup of it if you lose your iPhone. If you say turn off messages, then your messages will only be on your iPhone. If you lose your iPhone, then all of those messages and the photos and everything in those messages would also be deleted and you couldn't basically get them back. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.